Hey everyone, welcome to Vintage Booth Pro. My name is Crystal. Um, I am excited to share with you today over $10,000 worth of items sold that have been shared from our Facebook community group members. So if you're not already a member, head over to Facebook after you watch this video and be sure to join our Facebook group. It is called the Vintage Booth Pro Community and it's open to everyone if you are a seasoned pro or if you are even considering getting into this um, crazy vintage booth, antique booth world. <laughs> um, you can see the ups and downs for sure. And if you are considering getting into the antique booth business, I have a series on YouTube about just some basic information to help you get started with your antique booth business. And that is everything from location to creating a buyer persona and to pricing so far. So every month I ask group members what they sold the month before over $50 and ask them to share it with me. And I'm so thankful that they do. Um, I, I have included any information that they share. This month, I switched it up a little bit and asked them what small sold for them. So a small, I define pretty loosely as anything under $10. And really, it's like an impulse purchase that people can easily buy. And it's something that you can easily source or something that you can... You know, you can find it in your area or source it online. A lot of people did give me their um, smalls information with pictures and all the details. So I'm excited to go over that with you. And I will also direct you to um, a page over on my website called vintageboothpro.com slash smalls. And it is the ultimate guide to smalls because smalls can sometimes help make rent and help you make even more money. It is an ever-changing list of things that you can include. I try to update it often, and I will be sure to add everything that these vendors have shared with me because a lot of them are things that I haven't thought about. So let's get into this list of over $10,000 of items that sold in January that you can be on the lookout to sell in your booth and make some amazing profit. Okay, so let's get into the January what sold over $50 and smalls. Our first vendor says that I sold the Oak Curio cabinet. This was actually a very old piece, not a reproduction. It might have gone for more in original condition, but the lock was missing and the front glass had been replaced with plexiglass. I paid $55, sold for $160. This is at Seashore Vintage Booth G4 at the Painted Tree Boutiques in Virginia Beach. And that is, even with the plexiglass, it is so beautiful. Unfortunately, I didn't sell anything over $50 in January, but I added greeting cards and postcards to my booth and they are selling very well. Highly recommend adding greeting cards. And they sell them from $1.99 to $3.99 and you can see them in the picture here. Um, she does have them uh, beautifully displayed on this nice like spinning rack. Same vendor. Also, my grab bags always sell. I sold 64 in 2023. And you can see uh, she sells them for $7 each. And they have, um, well, just on this picture, it says bookmarks, stickers, inspirational quotes, greeting cards, etc. And this is Town Peddler Craft Antique Mall in Livonia, Michigan. Next up, these chairs are just beautiful. We sold these chairs for $180. Our booth is in a shop called Vintage Marketplace in Fort Collins, Colorado. We paid zero dollars. Yep, they were free and they're just stunning. Um, the One Eyed Dog Antique and Collectibles Vintage Marketplace in Fort Collins, Colorado. This is such a fun story. I love this. Okay, I will read. I paid $25 for this 1990s white leather jacket. It sold for $450. My booth is Secondhand Homestead PHX inside of Metro Estate Liquidation at 336 North 7th Street, Phoenix, Arizona. I believe it was a 2XL. <laughs> it gets better. The guy holding the jacket also bought a 1996 Steelers jacket for $75 that I paid three dollars for and it wasn't even in perfect condition so that is so cool that you actually caught the customer there when he purchased it and he agreed to a picture so super fun and outstanding sale okay next up i saw this vintage mixer for 89 dollars. it is so super cute the vintage tiger in the vintage market of greenville south carolina and they paid 15 dollars. so i will be on the lookout for that, but I will want to keep it for myself. Uh, next, uh, we saw this beautiful brass music stand for $115. We were fortunate to have it gifted to us to sell. 
We are the Weathered Fence Post of uh, the Weathered Fence Post, located inside Antiques at Gresham Lake in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Collected Treasures in Garner, North Carolina. Oh, and we also have a YouTube channel called the Weather Fence Post. You know what? I am going to try to tag your YouTube channel in this video. So um, everybody, please be sure go check them out and subscribe. So $115, that is really cool. I saw this antique dresser on casters for $120. I purchased it for $22.50 at an auction. It is missing the matching mirror. My business name is Glass Brass and Vintage Sass. I am vendor number four, located at Lovejoy Collectibles in Harrison, Arkansas. And I don't even think it needs the mirror. That is just beautiful on its own. As far as smalls go, I sold two bunny figurines under $10. And here are some more items for under $10. A bell, you can see in this picture. A trivet. And four gold frames ranging from $4 to $10 each. And I sold a couple of brass items for under $10. So I actually really love how you have those picture frames displayed. Um, and I, I run into picture frames all the time. Maybe I need to add some more to my booth. So that's a great tip. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> Next up, I sold this French Provincial chest of drawers for $350. Paid $50 for it. It is 40 width by 20 depth and 54 height. My booth is Christie's Creations in Mooresville, North Carolina at Lake Norman Antique Mall. And it's beautiful. I sold these nightstands for $250, paid $40 for them. And they are 30 width by 18 depth and 26 height. And this is that same vendor, Christie's Creations in Mooresville, North Carolina at Lake Norman Antique Mall. And so I, it's funny, I am actually staring at a set of nightstands right now. And I think I'm going to paint them exactly the same. So also stealing that one. <laughs> I sold this entry slash console table for $150, paid $25 for it. And it is 54 inches long by 16 inches deep and 29 inches high. And this is also Christie's Creations. This I sold this bench for $75, paid $10 for it. It is 48 inches long by 19 inches deep and 19 inches high. And this is another Christie's Creations in Mooresville, North Carolina. I sold this sweet antique tilt top table with hand-painted flowers for $130. I bought it for seven. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. I thought long and hard about keeping it. Yep. My booth is Iron Pig Market, and we are located in Antique Gallery of Houston. And she did include another picture here of it not tilted. That is beautiful. Earrings, uh, reincarnation, resale, and decor in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, sells earrings all under $10. So that is something to look look at and consider for your smalls. And I love the display. Vintage Meats Mod, booth number 275 in Lakeland Antique Mall in Lakeland, Florida. Purchased this Murano piece at a local estate sale for $21.40 and sold while on sale for $78.40. And it is clear, so it's a little difficult to see, but it is a bird um, in flight. It is beautiful. This vintage quartz chime clock paid $25, sold for $125. And, oh, this one's local to me. I'm so happy to see some local friends um, joining my group and getting involved. Um, booth is at the Coming Fair, 315 Dahlonega Street in Cumming, Georgia. Always be on the lookout for beautiful stunning clocks like this. Absolutely. And another one from my neighbor in the, at the Coming Fair in Cumming, Georgia. This beautiful vintage setting for 10. Got it for free and sold it for $85. And that is a vintage setting for 10. Next up, this stack of primary color Pyrex stacking balls sold for $90. I found the three smaller ones at a garage sale for seven. The large yellow one was gifted to me. And this is Linda Luz at Key Pieces in Hobbs, New Mexico. How sweet is that to be gifted um, that that bowl that perfectly matches the set that you found. That's amazing. I found this reproduction of an antique phone, probably from the 80s. It has push buttons where the rotary part should be. Paid $5 and sold for $50. Linda Luz at Key Pieces in Cobbs, New Mexico. But you know what? It's still vintage if it's from the 80s. But 
As far as smalls, my best seller is costume jewelry. I sold this glassware set, including six short glasses not pictured, for $58. My booth is at Shape Shops by the Lake in Painesville Township, Ohio. Super cute. Oh, I love this one. I love the model here. I found this beautiful blue suede coat. I paid $10 for the coat, coat and sold it for $85. My booth is the Bees and Ease booth, number 05. I am located at Old Glory Antique Marketplace in Frederick, Maryland. Okay, so I have the slide wrong because I read the notes incorrectly. And so the total sales in this picture is $355. So I'm going to read what they wrote because there's a lot of different sales here. I sold the Mary Mushrooms. I paid $210 for everything. I sold the clock for $95, the mugs for $27 each times five, the napkin holders for $55 each, one canister that had a crack for $45, and the lid for $25. I only have the six-piece can six canister set left. I had them for about a week. I listed them on Facebook Marketplace and got 2,700 clicks. I'm in Quakertown, PA at the Collector's Bazaar. So amazing sell there, and I will forever probably be on the lookout for those merry mushrooms. Next up, another jacket. I sold a teal blue wool coat with black velvet collar. Very nice. I paid $22 and it sold for $125. My booth is Old Glory Antiques and Marketplace in Frederick, Maryland. Super cool. Very, um, very posh. I love that. Sold this Monte Dulac print. Mine was framed in a metal frame for $60. Paid five. I'm Mountain Man Treasures at Bella Peacock Vintage in Helena, Montana. And I don't know if you can see that pictures, but it's got like the fish coming in through the window. That's so cool. Same vendor sold this Coleman Lantern in original box for $49. So that's close enough to 50. I, I, we had talked about it. And I was like, it's super close. So we'll let it slide. Paid $10. Actually got at the same sale as the Dolak print. Also sold this oil can for $49. Paid for it in a bundle of stuff can't be more than $5 in. That's amazing. So awesome sales there. Smalls wise, I do, I have lots of them. I do well with my $2 comics. And that's the, from the same Mountain Man Treasures. Okay, I love this one. We are in a small beach town on the Oregon coast. We call our booth Schmidt and Polish. We make these lighted gazing tables using reclaimed wood and locally sourced rocks, shells, and a gate. They're lit from underneath. We sold two in January for $150 each. So if you are crafty and can find some, um, some local materials, that is amazing. Everything else that sold was literally under $10 each. Whiskey glasses, $7 each. Vintage bottles, $2.50. Mugs, hand warmers, lighthouses, and books. So that's what I always say. Smalls can make rent, and these big over 50 sales can just help boost the bottom line even more. Um, so it's always interesting learning what people are selling under $10. And I, I will be on the lookout for each and every one of those items. Last April, I bought a lifetime collection of salt and pepper shakers from someone clearing a loved one's house. I paid $250 for over 500 sets of, and two oak and glass cabinets to display in. My price range was 10, 12, and 15 for the sets. In 10 months, I have sold approximately $1,372. I made my money back and more in the first month. My booth is Perfectly Imperfect Vintage Marketplace in Broken Bow, o Oklahoma. So I myself love salt and pepper shakers. And, you know, I always go under $10 with them. So that is good to know that they sell between $10 and $15. So um, awesome sell there. And I love Harry reading the story. Umbrella Stand paid $8, sold for $50. Booth name is Chevy Sheet Cottage Furniture, Decorative Pieces, and Collectibles, number JY, and the store is Magnolia Antique Mall in Guthrie, Oklahoma, and they have several other sales here. Same vendor sold this butter churn shaped cookie jar, paid 10, sold 50, and that is the same Chevy Sheet Cottage Furniture, Decorative Pieces, and Collectibles in Guthrie, Oklahoma, and this is just incredible. Um... 
Wash Jane with Marble Top, paid $50, sold for $175. Same vendor. That is so beautiful. Shabby Chic Cottage Furniture, Decorative Pieces, and Collectibles at Magnolia Antique Mall in Guthrie, Oklahoma. We sold this for $75. A lamp made from a 1920s Harry B.J. Chicago trumpet, probably early 1920s. Cost about $25. Our booth is the Classic Cluster at Two Chicks Vintage Marketplace in Ellisville, Missouri. That is beautiful. Cabinet bought for $25, sold for $75. Downtown Market, Lovington, New Mexico. Love those quick and easy flips where you don't have to do a whole lot to them, except for the pain of moving it in and out. <laughs> That's what gets me every time. You know, Do I want to move something or not? But that is a stunning piece. I sold this little wash tub on stand for $198. My booth is in Yoder and Miller Antique Mall in Mound City, Missouri. I purchased it at an estate sale for $35. My booth is 8x8. Eight eight. So um, that's an incredible sale. Really cool there. And I love this. I sold 123 items in January with only one over 50. This two and a half quart pink gooseberry casserole sold for $60. My booth is Rural Route 2 Farmhouse Decor, located in Marion, Illinois, at Warehouse Antique Mall in Marion, Illinois. That is beautiful. Next up, I finally sold this china cabinet, sold for $150, bought for $35, plus the tip I gave the teenage boys for lo loading it in my car. So that's the trick. <laughs> um, Richardson, Texas, Cottonwood Market booth. 400. That is a big piece and um, I'm sure you are very sad to see it go. So hang tight with me on the next couple of slides. This vendor sold a lot in a very short amount of time and it's just the most incredible items. January, January was my best month so far in my booth. I've been in for seven months. I also have another booth I just started in January. This Carlo of Hollywood painting sold for $350. This painting sold for $220, and I don't have any other details about it, but you can sort of see the dimensions in the image. This, I think it's called Latch Hook Wall Hanging, sold for $60. This incredible rug, a Raya rug, sold for $459 on Layaway. And I do love that stores do that because um, it helps people to purchase things that they want. This um, clock sold for $75. This stunning lamp sold for $90. And look at that sunburst clock in the background. This owl, ma like a mama owl painting, sold for $185. Okay, and smalls under $10. These eight, 1980s hand-painted mugs sold for $7 each. I also sold small plastic vintage ashtray for $6. Everything else I sold was $25 to $45. And I'm in Cheshire Cat Gallery in Raleigh, North Carolina. Also in Marigold in Pittsburgh, North Carolina. We are Don and Peg's Memorable Treasures, booth number 48 at The Shed in Altoona, Wisconsin. For the month of January, we only sold two items over $50. The first was an old wood crate from a local farm supply shopping center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That was for $89.95. Any local advertising always sells well for us. The second was an old Structo press steel toy dump truck for $59.95. And I love this. As for smalls, we package them on a and put them on a spinning rack. Items include Tootsie toy cars, vintage pin backs, vintage patches, vintage buttons, vintage small advertising, and so on. Prices range from $1 to $20. People seem to love digging around the spinning rack to find smaller treasures. I would too. That is a great idea. Unfortunately, my January was not a good month. I did sell this Ethan Allen cabinet at the end of December for $499. Value was $3,000. Customer was very happy. And this is Country Vintage Flips in Delaware, Ohio. Sold this Culver set of shot glasses for $52, paid $12. And if you can't really see them, they have Saloon, um, I guess, imprinted on them. But they are beautiful, and I love that carrying case. And this is a vendor in Ringgold, Georgia. These two plaid upholstered chairs with wood details sold for $220, paid $70 for both. And this is Tatum's Trove in Homestead Antique Mall in Rogers, um, Arkansas, and one more sell from them. This gold framed floral artwork signed by unknown artist for $68, paid 10. 
Booth name is Tatum's Trove in Homestead Antique Malls in Rogers, Arkansas. I can't remember the booth dimensions, but I have three different styled booths at this mall. One mid-century slash boho, one moody traditional, and one cottagecore farmhouse. IG and TikTok accounts help drive traffic when I restock. It's been really a helpful exposure if you're not already creating content on those platforms. And that is a great tip. Black Saru's Oak Dresser paid $0 and... This is not a typo. Sold for $695. This was at Reveal Rustics and Relics at Lula B's Antique Mall in Dallas, Texas. That is beautiful and just an incredible sale. This pair of marble Hollywood Regency lamps paid $16 for the pairs. Sold for $160. And that is that same vendor, Reveal Rustics and Re Relics at Antique Company Mall in McKinney. This sweet little butler's tray sold in January. Paid about twenty, and it sold for sixty-five. Vintage works in the Plano Antique Mall, Plano, Texas, and that is so cute. I love how um, I love the details on the legs. January is my slowest month. I needed something special to help boost sales slash cover rent for my two large booths. I purchased this lovely vintage original oil painting last year for my home at an estate sale for fifty dollars. It was painted by American maritime artist robert sanders i staged it in one of my booths at gold city antique gallery in north georgia with other vintage maritime merchandise like selling periodicals brass and porcelain pieces that match the theme the painting sold within two weeks of displaying it for 450 dollars i was a little sad to see it go and it's worth more than i sold it for but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and that's the great thing about the thrill of the hunt there will always be something else waiting to be discovered Absolutely. And she shared even more pictures so you can kind of get an idea of um, how she staged it and the size of the painting as well. And so you could see the artist's signature there. And just, I mean, the frame itself is stunning and that the painting is beautiful. So um, that's just a $400 profit. That's amazing. This carousel horse sold for $125. I paid $34 dollars for it plus the cost of upcycling it my booth is in crown point indiana that's so beautiful this floral vintage art paid 10 sold for 63 dollars i am vendor rf style refresh and i'm in visalia california and i believe we have quite a few more from this vendor who had an exceptional january next up they saw these marble horse bookends Bought for $25, sold for $60. They gave a 10% discount on those. This transfer wear, $60, um, paid $60, sold for $180, gave a 10% discount. Now these two nightstands sold for, or purchased for $75 and sold for $199. And I, I always say this, but Chippy White, I don't think will ever go out of style. I think that is, um, those are beautiful. And if you're ever looking for a color and just can't decide, and if you have to paint it, I'm liking natural colors a lot these days, but I always tend towards the white um, because it is, it is um, just a classic that just won't go out of style. And these Chippy drawers um, purchased for $40, sold for $150. This dresser purchased for $85, sold for $200. This small maple table purchased for $20, sold for $70. Same vendor here, still a uh, vendor RF, style refresh in Visalia, California. This jelly cabinet purchased for $40, sold for $90. Still the same vendor, these cowboy boots purchased for $17 and sold for $70. This leather purse purchased for $10, sold for $50. Vintage quilt, There's she doesn't have a picture. Purchased for $20, it sold for $65. This was my best, best month so far out of nine months of being in this mall. I did move my booth and double the space the last two months. My total gross sales were $3,460, and I do pay 15% commissions. Too many spalls to list. I am very grateful. I am vendor RF, Style Refresh, and I'm in Visalia, California. These vintage printer's drawers sold for $55. Pay ten dollars. Um, so second time around shop, Olmstead Falls, Ohio. 
Booth MWW. Thanks for including me. And I should say this, thank you for submitting this information. This um, is just so educational. And um, these uh, bolo items for people to be on the lookout and learning how people are pricing items too, I think is very helpful. This vintage rattan table sold for $175 homestead rogers arkansas vendor number 55 that is so beautiful same vendor this vintage austrian enamel cookware sold for 250 dollars homestead rogers arkansas vendor number 55 this half moon vintage bar bar cabinet sold for 300 dollars and this was also uh vendor number 55 at homestead antique mall and rogers art Arkansas. We purchased this antique secretary at an estate buyout, so I'm not sure how much we had in it, probably around $25. We sold it in our booths in the Village Antiques and Home Decor Mall for $175. We are TLM in the shops, but I go by Grin and Grandma on social media, and they are in Elizabethton, Tennessee. We have no money in this blanket slash sweater armoire and sold it for $65 in Abingdon Antiques and more. Abingdon, Virginia, and we are booth TLM. And um, I believe this is the same the same vendor um, that is Grin and Grandma on social media. So this MCM two-step blonde table paid $6, sold for $75. My booth is 5x8 at Casa Deluxe in Long Beach, California. And that is our last one. Can you believe that was over $10,000 worth of items that were sold in January of this month alone? So if you would like to be included in future videos like this, um, I love asking... Um, fellow group members to share their sales and also their beautiful displays. So let me know your favorite item that you saw in this video. And if you like videos like this, um, I will link a couple other um, of our previous videos that we've done in the past few months and continue learning. Thanks so much for watching.